This summer, Como Zoo and Conservatory's Blooming Butterflies returns for a second and final year. This wildly popular exhibit allows you and your family to interact with over 100 species of butterflies from around the world as they lazily fly about in their 2,500 square foot greenhouse enclosure. Como's Michelle Furrer paid a visit to find out more. We were able to catch up with Tina Dombrowski, the horticulture manager at the Marjorie McNeely Conservatory, days before the Blooming Butterflies open. Hi Tina, how are you? Great, Michelle. And tell us a little bit about this exhibit. We're going to be getting butterflies from butterfly farmers and breeders around the world. Uh, many uh, breeders, this is a sustainable activity for them and indigenous peoples. So it's a way to um, promote conservation and also a way to uh, educate our viewers and our visitors about the importance of butterflies, uh, sustainability of the rainforest, conservation, all that, all that wonderful message wrapped up into one exhibit. This is a very interesting and colorful structure. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, actually the structure, the outer integument of our building is um, painted like a monarch caterpillar. So if you see a monarch caterpillar, it should look very similar to and this. Monarchs are the state butterfly in Minnesota, aren't they? They are. So Tina, what is your favorite thing about butterflies? One of my favorite um, things about butterflies is the message that they convey to people. Uh, most people find them beautiful and non-threatening. They are fabulous pollinators and they are basically a flagship species to the invertebrate world, which is extremely important for our welfare, the welfare of plants and our ecosystem. So it gets people thinking about insects, it gets them thinking about plants as well um, and the importance that both of these play. And what are some of the things that people here locally in Minnesota can do to help protect butterflies? People can plant butterfly gardens um, and actually learn a lot about the native butterflies in their area, about the plants that sustain the butterflies, particularly the larval host plants, um, to reduce their pesticide uh, use in and around butterfly gardens is a very good um, message to send. Well, thanks, Tina, for sharing all the information about Como's Blooming Butterflies, which is open June 6th through September 7th here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. Don't miss Blooming Butterflies in its final year at Como Zoo and Conservatory.